Every year, we're being spoilt by new EVs coming onto the market with the latest in technology and gadgets. And that leaves us who want a more analog experience with something of a dilemma. Now, we all know that it's easier to use what we already have existing. And that's what some clever chaps in Shanghai have done here. This bike was built in 1958 and is a Honda Cub. However, this is the Shanghai Customs E-Cub and this is fully charged. So I've been aware of Shanghai Customs for a number of years now and it's the brainchild of two young expats living here in the city. And what they've done is taken one of the biggest selling bikes in the world, 100 million of these have been sold since 1958, and have electrified it. Now, if you've been to a city like Vietnam, you've seen um, all those gas powered bikes buzzing around. And this really answers that question of what should we do with all of those bikes? We can't just throw them all away. We should convert them all to electricity. And that's what the guy, these guys have done. And it's not something that you have to send off to do. You can do it yourself at home in about 15 hours. So let's have a little look around this bike to see some of the features. They really stripped back the original Honda Cub here. Now, if you know the Honda Cub, you would have seen that they've got this big plastic thing around here to deflect all the rain. Now, they've got rid of that and they've really stripped it completely down. Now, in here I've got a 1.3 kilowatt hour battery and it's actually pretty small and you can take it out, go off and charge it and put it back in again. Um, very comfortable seat, which is great. Awesome LED lights. So these are really thin, they're, they're microscopically thin, but they look fantastic. And again, it's all about that stripped back aesthetic. Now I've got my, my hub down there uh, and my brake and then coming forwards, got rid of the gas tank as well. They've got their own custom screen, which looks really smart. It says Shanghai Customs on it. Tells me how many volts I've got left in the battery, the time, the speed, the power. Um, and then I've got my basic controls on either side, which is great. And again, at the front, I've got, I've got the, the uh, headlight at the front here and two indicator stalls. Apart from being a just a really cool looking bike, it's sort of a, a halfway house between a scooter and a, and a motorbike. Mm. It's the most popular vehicle of all time. So 100 million produced. Mm. It's, a, it's just an incredible vehicle. And we thought a great platform with which not only to do cool bikes, build cool customs, but actually an enormous pool of old bikes that just need a bit of TLC. I really like what they've done with this bike because it's so simple and easy. And what this is like to drive is also awesome. So I've got a, a little new electric scooter, which I hit, use here in Shanghai all the time. Now this feels properly chunky, um, handles all the bumps very well, and it's actually quite maneuverable. I'm, you know, I'm loving these big, thick, chunky tires. Um, it does absorb uh, the bumps in the road very well. All in all, it's a, a very rapid bike as well. Now, it does have a button down here, which says M. If I press that, it gives me boost. And we like a bit of boost on a bike. It gives you that extra speed when you need it for perhaps overtaking. How easy is it to put together this kit if you're not very competent like myself? So we've designed this bike to be uh, for anyone, for the complete layman. Um, and it can be built essentially within a day using only hand tools. So there's no welding, no soldering required. It's mm. all plug and play. And we've made it color coordinated, <laughs> all the wiring yeah. and number, uh, you know, we've numbered all the wires. So um, it's literally just clipping it in um, and putting things in the right place. Okay. Tightening it up with a, with a spanner and the rest is, you know, off, off so you go. Pretty easy then really. Incredibly easy. They've actually replaced most of the components on the bikes because it's about time, you know, this, this bike may be up to 50 years old. So all the suspension has been replaced, the seat's been replaced, um, all of these gubbins around here, the wires and the, the brakes, 
all replace. Um, so for someone competent, probably not me, it would take about 15 hours to convert this. Um, and you're probably wondering how much this costs. Now, if you already have your own Honda E-Cub frame, uh, this will cost you about $2,800 for all the kit uh, shipped to wherever you are in the world, um, which I think is a reasonable price for electrifying uh, this bike and hopefully getting it to last for the next 50 years. Now, what Shanghai Customs have done is squeezed all the clever stuff below the seat. Now, what this bike can do is a 50 kilometer range and a top speed of around 60 kilometers an hour. So it's actually pretty nimble. Um, and that's all packaged in their own custom system. It's Panasonic batteries, uh, like I said before, 1.3 kilowatt hours, and will power you up to that top speed very quickly. Now we haven't tried the zero to 60 time. Um, I don't think that's a good idea uh, on the streets of Shanghai, but I can tell you now it's very rapid. So who, who's buying the E-Cub at the moment? Our biggest markets are California and Japan, uh, unsurprisingly being the sort of two biggest Cub mm. markets. Um, but we're in 20 plus countries now. We're in Mexico, Cambodia, uh, you know, all across. I mean, I suppose we're in Germany, France, Spain, everywhere mm. really. Mm. Uh, and actually now we've got one in, in South America. It's, um, we're on all continents apart from Antarctica. Wow, so, that's yeah, incredible. We, yeah, that's, a, a, we were waiting for that South American one <laughs> just to like tick it off and now we're, yeah. All continents, that's really amazing. Antarctica is, is going to be a tricky, <laughs> tricky last be. hurdle, but we maybe we can get there. <laughs> so I love projects and I love tinkering. And this for me is the ideal project. There haven't been many companies out there who have been able to give us a electric project at a more reasonable price. And this, I think, answers that question. But it also asks another question. Honda, what are you doing? Why aren't you doing this? I would love it if Honda said, okay, new scheme, take all of our old Honda Cub bikes, convert them to electric. It'd be fantastic if all of us were driving around these, the streets of Europe and the US. Now, thank you very much for watching. I've really enjoyed driving this around today. We've got plenty more videos coming from China very soon and some very, very exciting ones, mostly in the south of China. So if you haven't already, they've got our Patreon, our YouTube memberships, our merchandise, all on those lovely links uh, around this video. And if you have been, thank you for watching.